and it's all happening right in front of us. That's why these violent acts are so repulsive today. Yeah. I mean, I think they were always repulsive, but now they seem particularly repulsive because you're like, God, we have, look what's going on. Look yeah. how much crazy shit is going on. If we're still having religious murders and yeah. all this is going on. Yeah. So it's, there's this weird sort of disruption in the potential of, of the situation. That's right. And this weird disruption is like being met with more more people are looking at these disruptions now than ever before. And you're getting extremes on that end. I think you and I are kind of moderate in our progressiveness. Right. And we're both like totally pro-gay marriage, totally pro-abortion uh, rights. Pre do whatever the fuck you want to do as long as you're not harming other people. Right. But be responsible for your actions too. And I think m more, more and more people are, at least in my opinion, what I'm running into, kind and aware than I think ever in my yes. lifetime. More people are kind and aware. That's and right. more people are also aware of like the benefit of being kind. That's right. But along the way, you're going to have extremes on both sides. You're going to have extreme religious crazy fucking people. You're going to have extreme left-wing lunatics. You're yeah. going to have all sorts of people. Like Chris Ryan said it best. He was like, they're a fascist wearing hippie clothes. Right. They're wearing a hippie outfit. Yep. And there's, there's that too. But what, it, what we're learning from all this is that we know more about what's going on and we know more about where we're headed than we've ever known before, but yet we're still completely in the dark as to where this thing could go. That's right. We don't know where it could go, but we are the midwives of the thing. And yeah. that's the frustration is here we are, all of us are, are either via our attention or some people like Rick Doblin and, and the, the work they're actually doing or, or Kurzweil or Musk or any of the luminaries who are ac actively transforming society with their technological innovation these are midwives and they're they're drawing this thing out they're letting this thing be born and while they're letting this thing be born and what is being born is you can call it whatever you want you can call it a renaissance you can call it the techno messiah you can call it whatever you want to call it but this thing being born has not existed as far as we're aware on this planet and if it did it was before one of those meteor impacts you talk about sometime but here we are ha delivering this thing and in the fucking delivery room in this incredible period in human history where we're looking at complete control over our genetics solving some of the world's greatest problems solving like curing diseases uh that we thought we never could cure there's like assholes throwing firecrackers in the fucking delivery room yapping about some invisible angry guy that uh that hates gay people and that's really frustrating because you're you you're witnessing uh the the most radical form of violence which is not just violence human to human but violence in the sense of trying to destroy the potentiality of our species by clinging to an antiquated and ridiculous notion of what god looks like and that's if there is anything more violent than that i can't imagine what it could be no it's the it's the most archaic of all beliefs the most archaic of all beliefs is this magic man that you've never met wants you to kill people who don't believe in him. Yes. That, that's bananas. And this is, this is one of those things that's just been around for long enough to get traction and it's become a normal part of life. But if you tried to introduce it today, if most people lived a secular life and you tried to introduce radical Christianity right today. Yes. It would be one of the most ridiculous conversations you could ever have with people. They would be, the, the news would report on it. Right. They, would be like, they would talk about the effort. This strange new cult has come to town that yeah. wants you to believe that uh, you were born from original sin and that there's a man who died. They had to hammer him together. He was a son of God. They had to hammer him to some wood. Otherwise, they couldn't fix the whole thing. There's no other way to do it. And uh, they, they wrote this stuff down back then, and we just passed it down from generation to generation, and then this is God's word, and that's that. Sounds like something, if it didn't exist, like if you were on the bus with someone and they started saying it, you'd switch seats because you're like, shit, man, I sat next to the fucking crazy person. What, what was it? 
What? What do you think the original Bible was? The original Bible, man, I think it was a, a transmission that was prepping the way for this thing that's coming. I, I think it was a, one of the many, in the same way you've got Elon Musk, in the same way you've got luminaries now, I think back then you had luminaries who were looking around at a world where people were... Barbaric. Get barbaric and getting crucified, and they were like, okay... You know, look what they had to work with, man. You have to start with like, hold on, maybe lo- love your enemy as you love yourself. Right. Or these ideas that are unifying, these ideas that could create real peace because you need the peace. If you are looking at what's coming as the formation of a baby, then whatever early religion is propagating any kind of diminishment in war, any kind of, or even the attempt to reduce violence, then you're looking at this, it's kind of like trying to create the pod within which this thing can grow. Because we need peace, we need stability in whatever way we can get get to. Now, I'm not saying that the creators of the buy of the new testament the the gospels were like shit man we better come up with this ridiculous idea so that there can be robots in the future <laughs> <laughs> but i think that's but yeah but that is it's all the process right it's part of the process which is why it's so ironic that the people saying there's an invisible god who wants them to kill other people uh they, they're while they're doing all this the actual god is in the birthing process in the laboratories and universities and uh, think tanks of the, of the planet. It's oozing through the human imagination and manifesting as all these high tech technologies that are that have as one of their byproducts the tendency to heal. 